so in this video what we'll do now is I'll show you how to do your problem setup of the low-rise building model in NCCFX Pre so this is my house model I had uh, refined my mesh so you can see near the house model I have finer mesh so I have used half cosinus rule and I have done some adjustment to the spacing between the nodes so this is the mesh that I want to have it will help me to capture the boundary layer it will help me to capture the flow separation over the roof as well as help me to capture the recirculating region behind the low-rise building model so what I have done is I have already saved my mesh I have already uh, gone to file mesh load from blocking I have already done the output mesh so what I'll do now is I will show you the number of nodes that I have in my model so I will look for the text document so I have roughly about 505,000 uh, nodes in my model so now let's move on to actually setting the problem up CFX pre so let's open uh, CFX 17 uh, CFX pre file new case general is ok click ok it says automatic generation you will click ok so now let's import our mesh file import mesh so I will look for the folder in which I have been saving everything so for me I have saved it inside the folder which is called 15 degree pitch ensure that files of type is selected as ICM CFD CFX CFX5 mesh so I know this is the mesh that I'm going to look at this is what I want to import so open so it takes a little bit while to load the mesh since the number of nodes are large it takes a little bit longer to load so this is what I have now so the first thing is that we'll do is we'll create the domain so domain I will say house okay location we always choose the solid done uh, we don't have to change the material over here everything is okay as done let's go to fluid model tablons model you will change it to shear stress transport uh, everything is done click OK once we have created the domain we will now create the boundary type so basically inlet outlet and so on so beside domain you've got boundary so the first boundary I'll create is inlet okay uh, the location for this will be in these names are done respectively as to what we did in the previous uh, video when we're doing our meshing so the inlet will be at the side which is labeled as in click OK this time around we have to specify the normal speed so for me I will put it to 10 because each student has got their own uh, velocities that they need to look at and then click OK the next boundary I will create is outlet the boundary type will be outlet the location would be out click OK uh, relative pressure you set it to 0 okay now what I'll do is I will create uh, uh, the bar walls for the top bottom side and the house model so next boundary will be top and the boundary type will be wall and the location would be top okay same thing for the bottom wall so I'll put it as bottom okay the boundary type will be walls once more location according to you it would be bottom done okay so let me just zoom in slightly so that you can see the surfaces that I'm selecting now the next boundary will be front wall of the house so I will put it as uh, front it would be again wall and it would be front wall which was labeled as FW so front wall so you know okay that's the appropriate uh, side that I want to select click OK 
next I will put it as Ria which is my Ria wall these names can be anything as long as you remember what they represent and which side you need to choose so for Ria I want to select this surface so it was labeled as RW in my ICM CFD meshing software so done click OK now I will look uh, look for the next boundary which will be roof 1 uh, roof uh, space 1 ok it will be wall once more uh, location is roof 1 which is the self the roof that is facing the incoming wind so done next I will have roof 2 it would be wall and the surface that I'm choosing is R2 this in this case and then click OK and I'm only left with the side walls of the domain so again lastly I would put it aside OK it will be a wall uh, surfaces that I'm looking for is side for this for the side wall we have to change one of the boundary details so let's go to boundary details instead of no slip we'll select free slip and you will look for the information as to why we doing free slip free slip wall for this case and you will understand or you will look for information as to why uh, what is the purpose of free slip so click ok so now what we have done is we have effectively assigned all the sides with its boundary condition so it is very important that we check once more to be sure that uh, our bottom all the walls have been assigned appropriately so bottom is wall okay done front wall okay rear wall okay side wall with free slip that's okay roof 1 is a wall ok and roof 2 is model as a wall this is just a check you don't have to worry about if you have done it correctly in the beginning now the next thing is in this case we will need to write equations the reason why we have to write equation is to monitor the force which is acting on roof 1 and roof 2 so when you look at the model you'll see that the modeling has been done in the x y plane and I have extruded it in the positive z direction so when I just do a side view you'll see that the force acting on roof 1 or the lifting force acting on roof 1 and roof 2 will be along the or parallel to the y axis so for that reason when I write my equation for finding force on roof 1 and roof 2 you'll see that I'm using uh, my y axis as the reference so the way we write our equation is uh, quite simple so let me just get the model sorted out okay so done so we write our expressions over here so you can see that in expressions functions and variables there is a subsection which goes expression left click double left click when you come over here just move the mouse over here and do a right click and you say insert and then click on expression so the first expression I'm going to create is basically uh, force on roof one so I'm just going to call it as FR FR1 everything is together and I'll click OK so this is where I will write my expression so the expression is as such you have to write it in the same manner so force underscore y because I'm looking at lifting force which is going to be in the y direction on the roof then what we do is open bracket close bracket then shift uh, press on 2 to get your add symbol in and then name this name has to be consistent with the name that I have given to roof 1 and for that it was given as roof 1 so this is what I will be putting over here so it is roof 1 and it is case sensitive so we have to be very careful and we have to be also careful in the terms of uh, if we have given space in between roof 1 so we have to give that space so let's go back and see okay there was a space over there and then click apply so if there was any error it would appear over here now I will do the same for roof 2 
so I will put it as force roof 2 click ok so again force underscore y open close bracket add symbol and then the surface name was roof 2 done click apply so we can come out of this so you'll see that uh, we have written our two expressions now let's look at uh, our solution units solution units we don't have to change anything uh, solver control will uh, increase the number of maximum attritions to 300 that's the residual limit 0 0.12345678 8 zeros and a 1 done everything seems ok over there now the next thing is let's look at output control uh, results no need to change anything here backup right click and then we'll save it at every 20 iterations uh, we apply let's go to monitor check this box in so we'll insert a monitor point to monitor our velocity so here what I'll do is based on my uh, modeling I will give you the coordinates that you have to enter over here so X will be negative 10 for y you will put 2.5 and for z you will put 0 0.5 click apply to see where that point is so what I'll do is maybe I will put it as negative 20 and click apply so that's good enough uh, outputs that I want to uh, maybe monitor I just want to monitor my velocity so I will select velocity and click OK and then apply apart from this I also want to monitor the uh, force acting on roof 1 and roof 2 so I will also add those so now I will put another monitor and this time around it's not going to be a monitor point but it is going to be an equation so I'll, what I'll do is I will put it as uh, uh, force roof 1 that's the name that I want to give instead of your options being Cartesian put uh, expression and for the force acting on roof 1 the name of the expression was FR1 so I will put it over here as FR1 so expression would be FR1 and click apply again if there were any issues with the expression if there was an issue with uh, variables not matching up there would be an error message over here in the similar manner create another expression for force roof to click ok again option would be expression and going back it would have been labeled as fr2 so i will put it as fr2 over here so fr2 and then click apply there's no issue with the naming there's no error message so click ok so now what we have done is we have done our problem setup in uh, cfx pre everything has been assigned uh, what you need to do is when i look at my tablets model you need to understand why I'm using SST or I can also use Capsulon so you decide which model you want to use to capture your tablets and explain as to why you chose that model and finally I will go to file and save my source file so save case I will look for the folder in which I have been saving everything uh, 15 degree page so this would be uh, 15 degree simulation so I'll rename it something different uh, 15 15 degree simulation model and then clicks save and then eventually once your source file is done if you want to run your simulation you will just move to this icon over here which is run solve and monitor click on it and you will start solving your model so that's basically it in terms of doing the problem setup of your low-rise building model in ANSYS CFX Pre uh, thank you for watching the video and all the best with your project